Today our topic is factorizing algebraic expressions by grouping. After watching this video, you will be able to find the common factors by grouping terms of an expression, regrouping the terms of an expression in order to find the common factor, and factorization may be simplified by changing the signs of the factors. Let's start the video. The very first method of finding the factors or doing the factorization is grouping the terms. Now the question number one states that 3px minus 2py minus 6qx plus 4qy. Now we will make two groups. 3px minus 2py is one group and minus 6qx plus 4qy is the second one. Now from the first group we will take p as common. So we get 3x minus 2y and from the second group we will take minus qx common and inside we get 3x minus 2y. Now you can see that these two terms are common. So we can make factors as p minus qx and 3x minus 2y. Question number 2 ax minus 5a plus 4x minus 20 again here we have two groups ax plus 5y is one group and 4x minus 20 is the other one from the first group we will take a as common so inside we get x minus 5 from the second group we take plus 4 as common and x minus 5 inside because you can see 4 times x is 4x and 4 times 5 is 20. So a plus 4 is one factor and x minus 5 is the other common factor. Question number 3 states that x square plus xy minus 3x minus 3y. Again here we have two groups. From these two groups we will take terms as common now, now from the first group we take x as common inside we are left behind with x plus y because when we are taking x common here x is left here y is left now from the second group we will take minus 3 as common and x plus y comes inside here the sign is plus because plus into minus is minus now again x minus 3 will come here and x plus y is the common factor so in this way we have solved these questions in order to do the factorization and the method that we have used is known as grouping the terms of the algebraic expressions hope you have understood. our second way to factorize the algebraic expression is by regrouping the terms in the question we have uh, the values in a certain pattern but we cannot find the, the factors or the common factors so what we can do we can arrange the terms or we can regroup the terms now let's do the question question number one states that ax plus bx plus ay plus by now what we will do we will arrange the terms or regroup the terms now ax plus ay plus bx plus by now the groups are Two groups are ax plus ay is one group, bx plus by is the other group. Now from the first group again we will take a as common. So we are left behind with x plus y. And from the second group we take b as common and x plus y. Now you can see by arranging, rearranging the terms from the question, it is so simple to find the factors. x plus y is common we take it as one factor and a plus b as the second in this way we have solved this question easily in two to three steps now question number two 12 h y plus 20 h minus 15 minus 9 y again we arrange the terms 12 h y minus 9 y plus 20 h minus 15 now this is the one group this is the second group from the first group we take common 3y we get 4h minus 3 from the second group we take 5 as common 4h minus 3 5 times 4 is 20h 
and 5 times 3 is 15. Now you can see 4h minus 3 is common. So we will take it as a common factor and 3y plus 5 come here. So in this way we have solved these two questions by the method of regrouping or rearranging the terms in order to find the factors of the algebraic expressions. Hope you have understood this method also. The third method of doing factorization is that if we get the values that are same but their signs are different we can solve them by changing the signs. Now let's do the question. Question number 1 states 3xy minus 4hx plus 12hy minus kx. Now we will rearrange the values 3ky minus kx minus 4hx plus 12hy. Now these are the two groups. From group number 1 we take k as common 3y minus x inside. From group number 2 4h common x minus 3y now you can see the values are same but signs are different so we can change the sign here here we can change the sign if we take plus outside this can be written as x minus 3y can be written as 3y minus x so here we will apply the condition that we change the sign so it becomes k 3y minus x plus 4h into 3y minus x. Now here we can see 3y minus x and 3y minus x can be taken as common factor and k plus 4h the first common factor. So in this way we have solved this question because here the values are same only the sign are different. So we can correct them or we can make them equal by changing the sign. We can convert this negative into positive and we can change the sign inside also. Now question number 2 14 cx plus 10 dy minus 4 cy minus 35 xd. Again we will arrange the terms again 14 cx minus 4 cy plus 10 dy minus 35 xd. Now from the first group we take common 2 c we get 7x minus 2y from the second group we take 5d as common 2y minus 7x again you can see that the values are same 7x 7x 2y 2y but the signs are different here the sign is plus here the sign is minus here the sign is minus here the sign is plus so what we can do here we can change the sign here we can get minus outside so inside the value sign will be changed so 2c into 7x minus 2y minus 5d into 7x minus 2y now you can see these are the two common factors we take them out 7x minus 2y and 2c minus 5d here in this way we have solved this question also so hope you have understood the three ways of doing the factorization by grouping the terms by rearranging the terms in the groups and by changing the signs and you will practice for the better learning thank you